and Scott. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. That's teamwork. Way to go. We do appreciate teamwork. All right. And now, the Jesse and Terry show. You guys want to come on? I want to let you guys know that uh, uh, our good pal, Librarian Andy, is uh, making a video document of uh, the open mics through the course of the season. And what he does with them is he sticks them on the, uh, the, the library's open mic YouTube blog. So if you guys are interested in, in uh, checking it out on the web, you can know, see Andy for uh, the routing to get to those particular videos. And now, without further ado, the Jesse and Terry Show. I got a feeling this is going to be a show right here. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Uh, Jesse and I are members of a large group called the Banjos of Michigan. And uh, to give you an idea how long they've been around, I'm 66 years old and their bass player. Other than Jesse, I'm just about the youngest person in the world. Wow. <laughs> and they're doing a thing at St. Theodore's right around the corner. They usually they're nowhere in this area, but on Monday, and because I have come out of retirement, I won't be there because it's in the daytime. But, uh, <laughs> When Jesse wandered into our, our midst, he said, you mean there's other stuff on the banjo besides bluegrass? And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I, I immediately kidnapped him and poisoned his mind with music from the 1960s folk boom. The, door, the, the uh, floodgates, of course, were opened by the Kingston Trio, and we're going to do four of their tunes right here. I get two and he gets two. <laughs> All right. Ready? Well, let me tell you the story about a man named Charlie on a tragic fateful day. He put ten cents in his pocket, kissed his wife and family, put to ride on. told him one more nickel Charlie couldn't get off of that train but did he ever return no he never returned and his fate is still unlearned he may ride forever deep the streets of Boston he's a man who never returned now all night long Charlie rides to the station what will become of me how can I afford to see my sister and Chelsea or my cousin in Roxburgh started out as a, a Calypso group, 
And they chose the name Kingston because of Kingston, Jamaica, the song Jamaica Farewell, which someone else uh, recorded. But they just chose the name because it sounded good. They never re actually recorded that song. They never actually went there. And many moons later, they did record the song, which was, uh, was a big hit for Harry Belafonte. But because of their name, people kept requesting the song, so they had to go ahead and learn it. Jamaica Farewell. Down the way where the nights are the sun who shines daily on the mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship, and when I reached Jamaica, I made a stop. Now I'm excited to say I'm on my way. Won't be back home any day. My heart is down, my head is turning around. Glad to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. Sounds of laughter everywhere The dancing girls sway to and fro I must declare my heart is there Though I've been from Maine to Mexico Now I'm sad to say I'm on my way Won't be back for many a day My heart is down, my head is turning around Had to leave a little girl in inches in time You can hear ladies call out while on their heads they bear. Happy rice, salt and fish are nice. The rum is fine any time of year. And I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. My heart is down, my head is turning around. Had to leave a little girl in case in time. criticism back in those days by the folk police because uh, that term was being thrown out there.